Well, folks, I thought I'd show a little bit more Stratomatic hockey. I'm playing Boston and Toronto, and after four games, this series is tied at two. This is game five in Boston. The Bruins dominated the first period, out shooting Toronto eight to four, but then Toronto came back and made it 2-1, but Charlie Coyle scored late. And we're now 3-1, so I thought I'd play out the third period. It has been uh, a super fun and close series. So let's just see how it goes. Uh, here comes a face-off. And we have a 1, which is going to be the home left defense. So Puck is going over to um, Orloff. Sorry, 1 and a plus 1. O'Reilly is a plus 3. Coyle is a plus 2. So that would have to go over to Giordano because... Toronto was better on the face-off. Maybe I'll put the cards up a bit more. Uh, Toronto's going to play a 2-2. Boston is going to play a 2-2 off the start here. First card is uh, Visitor 2, and there's two four-checkers, so inside shot for any player intimidate with the opposition. So Toronto's going to get an inside shot. It has to go to Bunting because he's a four. He has the highest offense rating and debrus could intimidate one to six so he will intimidate and we draw a 12 so he's not going to intimidate here comes the shot from bunting it's a four it is a goalie rating toronto right off the bat jumps on the bruins all mark a six is a goal so is an 11 he rolls an eight save any forward makes the save so the puck is going to go over to any forward and Boston will give it to, we got three defense, three defense, two defense. We will give it to DeBrusk. He'll go against Bunting. Here comes Boston. It's going to be an out, loose puck, outside shot, only left D. Giordano's going to shoot from the outside. It's a nine. He loses it to the right winger, and DeBrusk has it. Here comes Boston, passing F. That is going to be an outside shot for the left wing. Hall's got it. He's going to try and penetrate. Now, I'm going to use the uh, the super advanced rule. So he's got four stars. So 1 to 14, he goes against the opponent. This is a 30-sided dice. I like to... Uh, sorry, it's a yeah 30-sided dice. And 1 to 14, we roll the 13. So 1 to 14 on the 30-sided dice would be against your opponent, 15 to 18 against the lefty, 19 to 22 is against the righty, 23 to 30, he'd have to pass. So it's a 13, he's going to go against Lafferty. So it's going to be four on three. It's going to be a deke of one to 10. So Hall trying to step in one to 10, he does. It's a nine, the shot is a six, it's a goalie rating. Taylor Hall steps right in, shoots. He's going to fire on Samsonoff. Samsonoff goal on four, eight, and 11. Here's the shot by Hall. It's a six. It's a save. Any forward gets control of the puck. So Toronto gets it back. And if we take a look, we got a two, two, and a one. I think we're going to give it to Bunting to play against the one defense of DeBrusque. Here comes Toronto. Uh, opponent defense, two. It's going to work out. Inside shot, center, intimidate, right D. Clifton is a one to nine. It pulls a 12. He's not going to do it. Ryan O'Reilly steps right in. It's a five save over to the left winger. So O'Reilly gets a chance. Taylor Hall brings it back for Boston. Two on two, outside shot only for the center. O'Reilly's going to shoot from the outside. It's a three kicked away over to the left D. And Dimitri Orloff brings it back for Boston. We've got a possible breakaway for the Bruins. And it is going to be the center if he is a two. And Charlie Coyle is a three. He's got a break leg. Charlie Coyle, he's already scored once. He gave the Bruins a two-gold cushion, cushion. And on the breakaway, it's going to be a save over the left D. So Charlie Coyle does not help put the Bruins put away the Leafs. Here comes Giordano, two on two. Pointed defense, nine. It is going to be takes away. Outside shot for Clifton. It's a six. He lost it to the right winger. Here comes Lafferty. Outside shot for the center. Outside shot only. Coil. It's an eight. That's going to be a rebound. Save. Rebound comes out. Defensive center. If he's a two, O'Reilly is a three. He will grab it. Here comes Toronto. Opponent defense, four. 
takes away puck as inside shot intimidate with right D. Justin Hall is a one to six. It's a seven. He's not going to intimidate Charlie Coyle again. I'm in a good game. Shoots at three. Goal one to 13. It is a seven. Boston Bruins have scored again. Charlie Coyle puts it in inside one to 13. A huge goal. Let's see who's going to get the assists. Uh, left D is a two, Orloff is a four, he'll get the first one. Right D is a three, Clifton is a two. Uh, right wing a four, DeBrusque is a three, left wing a five. So there's only going to be one assist, and that's going to go to Dmitry Orloff. And the time of the goal, that is after nine cards. And we take a look at the last two cards, that equals 23. So... I use my chart here, so nine cards. It's going to be at 520 plus the 23, so it's at 543. So the Boston Bruins put it in. So the way I do it on my chart, Coyle gets his second goal. It's from Orloff. These guys all get a plus, and the Leafs are going to get a minus. It is now 4-1 Boston. It is game five. The series is tied at two. So this is a huge, huge game um, for the Toronto Maple Leafs. They were up 2-1 the series. Boston's coming back. Um, I think we're going to go 3-2 for Toronto. Boston can go into a 2-1. Here comes a face-off. It's an 8. Toronto's a plus 1. So it's going to go to Lafferty. And now we're going to be looking at 3 offense, 1 4-checker. 3 offense, 1 4-checker. Passing B. And that's one of the reasons I don't like going on 3 offense. Is he's just a J passer, J passer. So didn't want the puck going to these two guys. So passing B is going to be inside shot for the right winger. Intimidate with Giordano. He's only a one, but we'll do it anyway. And it is a one. He takes the puck away, and we have to change the forward lines. So when I play in the this, I play four lines. But in the third period, I switch to three lines just to replicate uh, the ice time that the guys get. And same with the first defense and the second defense first defense will double in the first period second defense pairing will double in the second period so that they get more minutes than the third pairing so boston brings out their second line toronto brings out their second line vertizzi Kregi, pasternak for the bruins kerfoot Tavares, and nylander leafs will stay 3-1 boston will stay 2-1 Tavares has it so we're looking at 3-1 it is going to be lose to the opponent. Here comes Kregi right back. Two on two. Opponent defense eight. Tavares takes it away. He's going to shoot. It's going to be a save rebound. Rebound's going to come out. Defense if there's a four on the ice. And Pasternak is a four. Grizzlick is a four. And we've got two defense, two defense. This Shen, better chance for a penalty. Shen's already got four minutes in penalties. So Grizzlick brings it back. It's going to be two offense, two four checkers. And loose puck, outside shot, only left winger. Kerfoot's going to shoot from the outside. It's a three. He lost it over to Bertuzzi. Again, it's two on two. It's opponent defense, 10. Takes away by Nylander, outside shot. Nylander shoots a five. Kicked away. Puck goes over to the left winger. Here comes Tyler Bertuzzi. Opponent defense, six. It's going to be outside shot for center. craigie has got it. Uh, deking across is one to ten, but he's only a three. So three stars when I roll the 30-sided dice. is only one to nine chance. Most of the times he's going to pass. So I think I'm just going to pass anyway with Kregi. Uh He's going to pass. Uh, loose puck, defensive left winger picks it up. Kerfoot's got it. And there's my other timer. So there's 10 minutes to go in the hockey game. 4-1 Boston Bruins. Game 5. Here comes Kerfoot. 3-on-1. Opponent defense 3 is what I'm looking at. And Pasternak's going to take the puck away. Inside shot. Intimidate with the left D. McCabe intimidate is a 1-9. to nine. So we're going to intimidate with McCabe. And it's a 15. He doesn't do it. Pasternak's going to get a shot. He's going to get an inside shot. 
Pasternak's going to shoot. It's a three, which is a goal, one to 18. And it is a five. Pasternak is going to put it in. Boston starting to run away with this hockey game. All the games have been super close. And this one was close. Like, Boston dominated the first, but then Toronto, the first 10 minutes, came on like gangbusters, made it 2-1. And I thought we are going to have a great game. But Pasternak is going to score. Uh, the assists are going to go to uh, Kregi is going to get one assist, right D a two. Carlo was a one, so he's not going to get it. Left wing a two, Bertuzzi. So it's going to be Pasternak from Kregi and Bertuzzi for Boston. Time of the goal, it's going to be how many cards have gone by. I have 14 cards to go. So that would mean it's at card 16. So the 10 minute mark and 27 should be 10 27 is the time of the goal. And we're going to give minuses to Tavares, Kerfoot, Nylander, Shannon McCabe or minus two. Kregi, Pasternak, Bertuzzi, Carlo, Grizzlick are now plus twos in this hockey game. 4 1 Boston. Things not looking good for the Leafs, but we will be going back to Toronto for game six. Here comes a face off. It's a 15. And we have a three against a one. So a plus two on a 15 in figure right D. So Carlo picks it up, brings it back. There's still two on two passing D. Outside shot for Kregi. He's going to pass uh, against even. Inside shot for left winger. So Bertuzzi, he can score on a seven. It's a four save over to the left winger. And puck goes over to Kerfoot. Here comes Toronto right back. Three on one for checker. They're going to be a loose puck outside shot. Only any player. Um, Bertuzzi or Pasternak. I'm going to give it to Bertuzzi. Uh, they've each had a shot. So what you do is you keep track of those shots. So I'm going to give it to Bertuzzi. It would be their sixth outside shot. The reason I'm doing is I want to save the inside shot for Pasternak. So I'll let Bertuzzi have the outside shot. And it's an eight. It's going to be a save rebound. So Bertuzzi shoots it. It's a rebound. The rebound's going to come up. Defense, anybody is a four. And it's going to be grabbed there by McCabe is the only four. He will bring it back for Toronto. It's going to be loose puck inside shot only for any player. That one is going to go to Pasternak. So that's one of the reasons... I always give the outside shot to the four. That's a weaker shooter. Inside shot for um, Pasternak. Intimidate with Kerfoot. One to three. He will, but he doesn't do it. That's a 10. Here comes a shot by Pasternak. It's a seven. Kicked away over to the left defense. McCabe brings it back. It's going to be a three on one again. Opponent defense four. Carlo's going to take the way, has an outside shot, and he's just a J passer. So Carlo's just going to take that outside shot. It's a nine kicked away. Puck goes over to the left winger, sort of shooting for a rebound there, and we got to change the lines. There's seven minutes left to go in this hockey game. 4-1 Boston. I thought I was going to have a way more dramatic ending than this. Uh, sorry, folks. The games have all been so close. If you want to have fun with Stratomatic, play with this set play toronto and boston the first three games have been or the first four games have been unreal i've had a couple overtimes a couple double overtimes uh super super fun uh toronto's gonna stay three two they're gonna stay two one so three on one loose puck inside shot for any player uh this time it has to go to we're gonna give it to marshawn Nobody's used that type of shot yet. And intimidate with Marner, one to three. It's a 13. He's not going to do it. Marchand's going to shoot. It's a seven. Kicked away. Puck goes over to the center on the other side. Matthews has got it. He brings it out. Three on one. Inside shot. Any player intimidate the opposition. This one's got to go to Mitch Marner. And Marchand can intimidate. He's only a one. Uh, fails to take take puck away possible penalty so he's a b so a penalty on a b is going to be anywhere from 10 to 20 so marchand might go to the box one to nine no penalty 
and it is a 16. So let's just see what's going to happen here. So he's a B16. He's getting four. Marner's getting two. So there's not going to be a shot because of the retaliation. So they're both going to the box. So I'll put down the penalties here. So Boston, Marchand is getting four. And for Toronto, Marner is getting two. So it's going to be a power play chance for Toronto. It's going to be their third chance. And I play the Stratomatic rules where power play one stays for the first two. This will be the second unit. So Marner has two penalty minutes. Marchand picks up four. And we're going to the power play. So we'll take our action deck, count off three cards, put down end of penalty, and three more will signify the end of Marchand's penalty if they kill it. They don't I'll have to readjust the cards. <coughs> so coming up for Toronto on that second unit power play, I think we're going to have Kerfoot, uh, maybe Yarncroc on the point. We're going to have Ryan O'Reilly coming out for sure. And Bunting will come out. And who else do we have here? Chari's got a pretty good shooting card. Maybe we'll put a Chari and Kerfoot. We'll go with five forwards. Um, the only other demon we got, we could use not a lot of great passers. We could use McCabe or Giordano. I think we're going to go with the five forwards for Toronto. These five guys are going to get a shot. To kill it, they had McAvoy and Lindholm. Uh, this time... Oh, no, actually, they used Carlo the first time. And so this time they'll go with McAvoy. Now, I am going to use the brackets for their defense. So he is going to be a four on defense. Uh, Lindholm, my left D is going to have to be Orloff. The reason being, if you take a look at Grizzlick, he's a four, but a one in bracket. So I'm going to make him a one on the PK so I'm using the brackets for defense. Bergeron killed the first one. <coughs> Him and Marchand. So these guys are all ones. Debrusque is a three. Charlie Coyle is a four. So maybe we'll use Debrusque and Coyle to kill this penalty. See what else we have. We have a one. Oh, we have a four for Nosek. So Debrusque will go off. We'll use Nosek. And again, we're going to use his bracket number. So he's a four on defense. Um, so here we go. Toronto's on the power play. they got to try and get back in this hockey game. The timer is going to one for the faceoff. Here comes the faceoff. It's a two. And the faceoff is going to be O'Reilly's a plus three. No six a plus three. Power play gets a plus three. So it's going to be plus three Toronto. On number two is going to be the right D picks it up. Now, Kerfoot's got an outside shot. Since it was in the Bruins' end, he's not a great skater. He's only a three. He's going to try and pass it. And it's a passing K, which is inside shot right wing. So Achari's going to get a chance. He's going to shoot number nine, kicked away. Puck goes over to the center. So we have a loose puck. So we move one for the action card. Loose puck, power play. Recovered by power play team. Outside shot for center. So O'Reilly has it. He's going to deke 1 to 13 because he's a 4. O'Reilly, it's a 12. He steps in. He's going to shoot a 7. It's a goalie rating. O'Reilly steps right in. Here's the Allmark's goalie card. So 6 and 11. We got a possible goals. There's the shot. It's a 5 save face off. The face off is a 7. So it is going to go to the left winger, Bunting. So there's the face-off. There is Bunting. He's going to penetrate 1 to 13. It's a 3. He's got it. A 4 is going to be a goalie rating. So Bunting steps right in. He shoots another chance for Toronto. Looking for a 6 or an 11. It is a 6. He scores. Bunting puts in the power play goal for Toronto. And the Leafs get back in the game with a power play goal. Their second unit, Michael Bunting. I believe O'Reilly had the one assist. 
and right D is a three. Kerfoot's not going to get it. Right wing is a two. Achari's not going to get it. So it's only going to be one person getting it. Time of the power play goal. We got three, six. We have eight cards left. That means we played 22 and 34 on there. So it's going to be at 14.34, the time of the goal. And it was a simple inside goalie rating. Toronto puts it in. Bunting scores. And I put a little dot by it so I know it's a power play goal from O'Reilly. There's no minuses because they're on the power play. Now I'm going to have to adjust. One, two, three. Um, yeah, we didn't get to flip a card. So Marchand and um, Marner will come out at the same spot. So Riley goes off. Alexander Kerfoot is going to go off. And Achari is going to go off. And Yarncroft is going to go off. No sick. Um, Charlie Coyle is going to go off. Orloff has got to go off. And so what I do, whenever you have an empty spot, uh, because those guys are in the box, um, I always pick from the fourth line to ante up the minutes. So Achari's going to come out for Toronto. This is going to be a break for Boston because I'm going to bring out Pavel Zak, who's got a great card for a fourth line guy. And here we go. It, it is now four to two. They're still on three on one. Here comes a face off. It's a seven. And we have plus two, plus three. So plus one Boston. It's going to go to Zaka. And it's going to be two against two. It's going to be opponent defense nine. Takes away by Achari. He's going to shoot an outside shot. Number seven kicked away. Puck goes over to the left winger. Zaka picks it up. Here comes Boston. Opponent defense seven. Achari takes it away again. He's going to shoot. It's a rebound shot. Achari lets it go. Rebound is coming out. Defensive right D, if he's a two, McAvoy is a four. He's a five. He'll, he will take it away. Here comes McAvoy. Uh, passing D. It, it's going to be an inside shot for a center. Intimidate with Matthews. He will one to four. Uh, takes away puck. Possible penalty. He's a D. So one to 15 is no penalty. Oh, it's an 18. Matthews is going to go to the penalty box. Oh, that hurts. He is getting two minutes. Oh, my gosh. That is going to be it. It's going to be the end of the penalty for Marner and Marshawn. So they're coming back out. Oh, and the Leafs, their chance for a comeback is going to go down the tubes. We only have five cards left. So Boston is going to be going on the power play. Austin Matthews is picking up the penalty. And it will put out the Bruins' first power play unit. It'll be their fourth chance. So it's good, second unit, good. So two-minute penalty here to Matthews. And it's going to bring out the top power play unit for the Boston Bruins. So we're going to see Pasternak on the point. Bergeron is going to come out with Marshawn and Jake DeBrusque for Boston on this power play to kill it for Toronto. We're going to see uh, Mark Giordano and Brody's going to be a three on the right side. So we'll use Brody. And to kill it, it'll be Marner. And we're going to go with David Camp. He's a three. Let me just check and see if there's any guys that can skate. We're going to have to skate and try and score. Yarncrack 1 to 14. Kerfoot. And maybe we'll use Yarncrack instead of Camp. So the reason I'm going with him, he's just a two on defense, but one to 14, and he gets a chance for a breakaway goal. I think that will be Lafferty's one to three. We'll go with Lafferty. A little, not as, yeah, we'll go with Lafferty. One to three. We'll go with him on the, the PK. Probably a remote chance. Here we go. From the faceoff, uh, we got a power play chance. It is a 16, and the power plays are going to be plus five Boston, but it's going to be inferior left defense. Giordano picks up the puck. So it's going to be whenever the visitors win the power play, your defense goes up by four. So it's going to be one to four on the uh, PK. 
And Giordano, do I want him to skate one to ten? He's not even gonna have a good chance. I want to get the puck into their hands. Uh, I'm gonna ice it this time. One, two, three, four, five. He does ice it. Uh, left defense at twelve. If he's a two, Lafferty is a two, so he has it. Now he is gonna skate. So skating is one to ten. So Lafferty's gonna skate. And it's a 16, so it only moves one outside shot Boston. It has to go to uh, Bergeron. He hasn't had a shot yet, and Bergeron's going to deke one to 13. And he doesn't do it. Puck is loose. We got a loose puck. Um, power play short into the left. He has it. Giordano picks it up. He is going to ice it. He doesn't do it. It's intercepted by the left winger. Inside shot. We got to flip a card for that. Inside shot for Marchand. He's going to shoot. It's a four kicked away over to the right winger. Puck goes over to Marner. And Marner's going to skate. One to 14. We need a one. One, two, three. Successful. We're going to try it again. We need a one. It's a 20. He does not get it. Outside shot for Boston. This time, the highest four has got to be DeBrusque. So DeBrusque has to take it since he hasn't taken one yet. He's going to deke one to 13. See if he's successful. He is. The shot is an eight. That is going to be a save rebound. Rebound comes out. We move one timer. Offensive right wing if he's a three. He is a four. So DeBrusque is going to get the rebound shot. There's the shot by DeBrusque. It's a five. It's a goal rating. This will put the game away for the Bruins if they score. Ilya Samsonov. Boston will score on a four, eight, and 11. It's an eight. They're going to put it in. Jake DeBrusque with a power play goal just as the timer goes off. Boston Bruins get their first power play goal. This time, Jake DeBrusque puts it in. His own rebound. The assists are going to go to anybody with a seven. Nobody has a seven. Three, it's going to be from Bergeron. And right wing is a four. He scored right. He's a two. McAvoy will get the second assist. So it's a rebound goalie rating. Time in the goal. We have two cards left. And we have 12 on these cards, eight and a four. So my timer, so I'll get my timer, not my penalty chart. 18 minutes plus the 12 will be 18, 12. And the Boston Bruins have put in three third period goals. They now lead it six to two. We're going back to Toronto for game number six with the Bruins up three games to two. Matthew comes out of the penalty box. Pasternak, DeBrus come out. Boston just going to go to a 1 0 to finish off. Here comes the face off, number 13. We're looking at a plus one for Bergeron. In for your right D. Brody's got it. Uh, should I pull the goalie? <laughs> no, nah, it's too, too late. Uh, three on zero. Loose puck, possible breakaway. Things really going wrong for Toronto. Uh, right D is going to get it. Here comes Charlie McAvoy on the breakaway. It's a seven save over to the left winger. Bunting picks it up. And three on zero, I believe, right? Yes. Pony defense seven taken away by Trent Frederick. He's just going to shoot from the outside. Kicked away any player. That <coughs> is the end of the hockey game, folks. I'm out of cards. Boston puts in three, Toronto one. Final score here in game five, six to two. Shots in the final period, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ten shots by Toronto, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen shots by Boston. Uh, goalie ratings, one, two, three for the Leafs and just two for Boston. So overall, 22 shots by Toronto, six were in range, 17, 31 shots by Boston, six were in range. So if we take a look at the goalies, we have Samsonov and Allmark, who got the crease back after losing it to Swayman. <coughs> Both played 60 minutes, uh, shots 31 by Boston. Six goals against him, made 25 saves. How many of those goalie ratings did he stop? We had Boston had one, two goalie ratings. 
three goalie rating goals. So Samsonov is just three for six. He's been unbelievable in this series. That's why Toronto's was at were tied at two. So luck had to change at some point. Twenty two shots. Uh, two goals against, 20 saves by Ulmark. He had six goalie ratings. Toronto's was 1-15 to and a goalie rating. He was 5 for 6. So make sure I got all the goals. Uh, I didn't put DeBrusque goal down here. DeBrusque from Bergeron and McAvoy. And Pasternak's goal, did I get that? I don't think I did. Pasternak from Kregi and Bertuzzi. And Charlie Coyle did have a second goal. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm still missing a goal here. Uh, Marchand, Pasternak. Pasternak had two. So I didn't get either one of his goals. So the other one was Pasternak from Kregi. So two, six. The three stars for today's game. Uh, first star has got to be David Pasternak. He was quite the uh, the force out there. He had four shots on net, two goalie ratings from Boston. Second has got to be Charlie Coyle. He also had two goals for Toronto. Who would be theirs? I don't think anybody really played that well. O'Reilly had four shots on net and assists, but he's a minus two. I think you got to go with three Bruins. Uh, maybe Charlie McAvoy or Kregi. Um, I think we'll give it to Charlie McAvoy. Strong defensive effort. Actually, Allmark, five or six. He kind of held them in there, um, but only 22 shots on that. Yeah, we'll give it to Charlie McAvoy. So that is it from Boston. The Bruins win it six to two in game five. Next game will be in Toronto, and the Leafs are going to try and tie the series up. Uh, again, that's Stratomatic Hockey.